well students hope you all are well fit and fine at home today we are going to start online classes and i'm going to discuss a very easy and important chapter of class 9 expansion what is the expansion expansion is the process in which the content of brackets are evaluated if something is given in the bracket a plus b and we solve for bracket then it's called expansion the expansion of a plus b whole square will be a square plus b square plus 2 ab okay now before start the chapter i'm going to discuss some important identities some identities you have read already in class 8 some is new for you the first identity is a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square second identity is a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square now third one a square minus b square is equal to a plus b a minus b now a plus b plus c whole square is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2c a plus b whole cube a plus b whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b or when we open the bracket it will be a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square same as it is a minus b whole cube when minus sign is here then it all terms will be minus a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b but when we open the bracket then let's see a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b minus minus plus 3ab square next identity a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b in one bracket and in other bracket is a square plus b square minus ab now a cube minus b cube is a minus b in one bracket and the other bracket will be a square plus b square plus ab and the last one is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc is equal to a plus b plus c a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 if this term is 0 then this whole term will be 0 then the identity will be a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 abc so you need to learn this identities as soon as possible now let's do some questions from exercise 4a the question number 1 find the square of 2a plus b now let's see how to find the square Evaluate one hundred 
101 whole square. 101 whole square. Now, 101 whole square. We can write 101 as of 100 plus 1. Now, we use the identity A plus B whole square. 100 plus 1 whole square is equal to let it will be A and this term is B. A square, 100 square plus B square, 1 square and plus 2AB. A is 100 and B is 1. Here we use the identity A plus B whole square. Mention the identity in bracket. A square plus B square plus 2AB. Now solve for 100 square. Now it will be 100. 10,000 plus 1 square is 1 plus 200. So it will be 10,000. It will be 1, 0. Two zero one. This is the answer. Again, I am repeating one hundred one whole square. We can write as a hundred plus one whole square. After that, we will apply the identity a plus b whole square. A plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus two ab. Let hundred be a and one b. So a square hundred square plus b square means one square plus two ab. Now solve for 100 square is 10,000 and 1 square is 1, 2 into 100, 200 into 1 is 200, 200 plus 1, 201, when we add it, it will come 10,201. This is the answer. Now take another example. Question number 5 of your book, exercise 4a. Question is if a plus b is equal to 7 and ab is equal to 10, find a minus b. Here we have a plus b that is 7 and b ab is equal to 10. Need to find a minus b. So we apply the identity of a minus b whole square. It will be a square plus b square minus 2ab. We have the value of ab but we don't have the value of a square plus b square. So in place of a square plus b square we use the identity of a plus b whole square minus 2ab and here is also minus 2ab is a minus b whole square. Now how it will come? Let's see if a plus b whole square so it will be a square plus b square plus 2ab. We need the value of a square plus b square so a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square and send the 2ab on left hand side minus 2ab. So in place of a square plus b square we can put a plus b whole square minus 2ab. Now put the given values. Now put the given values. a minus b whole square will be the same a plus b. a plus b value is given 7. 7 square minus 2 ab minus 2 ab. It will be 4 ab. Now a minus b whole square is equal to 7 square is 49 minus 4 into ab is 10. 
a minus b whole square is equal to 49 minus 40. So a minus b whole square is equal to 9. Now we take the square root on both sides. Now we take the square root on both sides. So it will be under root a minus b square is equal to under root 9. So a minus b value will be plus minus 3. Whenever we find the value of under root, when it comes outside from under root, then it will be plus minus. Two values will come plus minus 3. So answer of a minus b is the value of a minus b is plus minus 3. So thank you students. One more thing I will discuss with you. You will make a proper notebook for maths. If do you have a new notebook, so it is very good. If you don't have, then you will continue uh, your old math notebook of class 8. Thank you. We will meet soon next video.